Hi, my name is Michelle Nazareth and I'm currently a junior in high school. My project last year was RNA regulation, identifying and preventing AMPD purination and early life RNA polymerization. My project was about the origins of life on the Earth 4 billion years ago. There was not much on the Earth. There was oceans, there were volcanoes, and there was carbon, oxygen, phosphorus, just the simple elements, but nothing else. So how did life begin then? How did life go from RNA or DNA to protocells into life we know today? Well, the RNA world hypothesis is that actually life started with RNA and not DNA as its genetic component. But still the question remains, if RNA was there but there were no enzymes, how did it polymerize and how did it become longer chain from monomers and actually form cells? So the wet dry cycling is basically when it rains down, the RNA gets uh, in the water and hydrolyzed, and then it dries down and goes through that process over and over again. And in that process, the RNA can actually polymerize. But the biggest problem with this theory is that in that happen, AMP depurinates, meaning it breaks at the N-glycoside bond. And that's bad because if AMP depurinates, then there's no way you can form your RNA polymer. That's what I investigated my project on, AMP depurination. I set out to first of all replicate it in the lab and then in inhibit it using LPC, which is a lipid, and adenine. After my experiment, I figured out that two things. One, that LPC actually inhibits depurination and so does adenine. But I did some statistical testing to see how much was actually inhibited. And it turns out that after 60 and 90 minutes, adenine statistically significantly reduces the amount of depurination that's present in the samples. And that's really important. My work is really important because it provides a solution to problems in the field of AMP depurination. It provides a solution that could have been plausible on the Earth 4 billion years ago, too. Like, for example, we know that if AMP was present on the Earth, then adenine had to be present because adenine is just a part of AMP. And even if LPC, lysophosphatidylcholine, wasn't present on the Earth, we know that there are similar lipid compounds like decanoic acid that could have uh, exhibited similar effects that protected the AMP from depurination and the harsh volcanic conditions.